Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can organize your images within Adobe Bridge and that is using collections. Uh, as may, you may know, uh, Lightroom has collections but in Adobe Bridge you can find collections as well so you can organize your photos. So this is Adobe Bridge. If you don't see the collections panel here, you just go to window and collections panel. Cool. So. I've got some random images here so you can see what I'm on about and I how I can organize this. So I've got some that I took Batsy Power Station. So for that I'm going to create right here new collection and I'm going Batsy Power Station. Cool. So and as you can see it just shows under collections and it's empty. So I need to go back to desktop where I've got my folder and tutorial and what I'm going to do I'm going to select those images so shift click go into collections and drag into BPS and as you can see they are here just those images so what I've got as well is let's see I've got some that I took at home and some in Portugal and oh we've got some more Batsy Power Station so I'm going to click on one of them go to the other ones and hold shift and click and drag into Batsy Power Station cool so now I'm going to create another one so, and I'm going to create a new collection so I'll call it Portugal cool and uh, the other ones I'm going to call still life life there we go and now I'm going back to my desktop and uh, and then then there you go it's right here so still life i'll click top one come to the last one hold shift and click drag into still life now this one here in portugal i'll just go and click shift click and portugal and there you go as you can see if i want to work on the images i can come here and instead of going through the image uh through the entire folder uh, it works really well and uh, if like me because I love Lightroom by all means I love Lightroom and I it's absolutely fantastic but sometimes when I'm doing my personal projects I don't like to go through the process of going to Lightroom import the photos convert to DNG and then work on the photos if I'm going out and about and I want to take a photo I'll go out and about take the photo I get home and I want to work on the photos straight away so Adobe Bridge is actually my option because I don't need to go through the process. But having this, uh, as soon as I back, back up my photos, I can create a collection so it's easy to find within Adobe Bridge. And uh, so for instance, I'm here in Portugal. I'll come here, I'll select top one. I'll come all the way here, hold shift and click. And I'm going to tools, Photoshop, and I can merge to a GR Pro. And actually, I'm just might as well do this image. And uh, it's not tutorial about OG, AGR Pro, but you can see that everything is there for me to do. So I can come here while it's doing in the background HDR. I can come here and uh, pick this photo and open in camera raw. And while it's doing that, I still can do my thing. So. As you can see, I can be working on, and I can just hit done, and obviously to update right here. And if I go to Photoshop, it's still doing its thing. And as you can see, it's super easy, super straightforward. And uh, like I just did, if you're working on HDR and you want to go and uh, while it's doing its thing in Photoshop, you still can go into your collection and or and uh, work on other image so i'm just going to very quickly to adobe cam raw and i'm going just to very basic stuff just for you to have an idea of how peaceful this place is this was take early in the morning i'm an early bird by the way when i'm on holidays i tend to get up at 5 30 go and watch the sea and then uh, have my coffee my espresso and then I'll have another one 
and then I'll go out and about and take some photos. So we are here and uh, I'm just going to warm me up, add some contrast, bring down the highlights a touch, open shadows all the way up, exposure, and I just want to bring this here, it's a bit darker, so I'm just going to drag a graduated filter and I'll just open the exposure, something like so. And it's nice and balanced. You can add a bit of clarity and radio filter just add a bit of warm thing here because the sun is actually rising from this side so there you go okay and as you can see collections in adobe bridge cool feature super easy and great for organizing your folders if you don't want to go through the process of taking to lightroom that's it for now, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, family and even with those you don't know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.